Hey guys, it's Sarah. I sort of just woke up, so don't mind any of this right now. <laughs> I just thought this video was really important to make because it's a recap video and also like a follow-up video. So basically, really quick, if you were not on the internet yesterday, which is kind of impossible, I mean like what? <laughs> or if you just didn't watch my video. Basically, Liam's a dad, Harry's album teaser came out, Louis performed on Ultra yesterday, and more stuff happened like that. I like how I said that so nonchalantly, like, oh guys, it's not a big deal, Liam's only a dad, Harry only released the trailer that was basically like his coming out, and Louis only performed at Ultra. That's some good Tropicana. Actually, speaking of the Tropicana, um, hashtag non-spawn, but whenever I throw shade or say anything related to bullshit, I'm gonna be sipping this, so you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. to my follow-up on Liam being a dad and Harry's album teaser and Louis performing at Ultra, I'm gonna talk about Gemma denying Larry on social media. So basically, it all started out on Instagram. She posted this picture and it says, like lovers do. It was a pretty innocent post to me, it has nothing to do with Larry, but let's continue. And this person comments under the photo, confirms Larry, and then Gemma added them and said, are you mental? Now before we get all triggered over the word mental, you guys should know that that in England, mental is like a slang term for saying, are you serious? There, she like, she, she's not talking about mental illness, guys. She's not saying, are you retarded? Or do you have a mental illness? She's just saying, are you serious? But she's British, so that's why she said it that way. I'm American and I knew that, guys. But I'm sure anybody sending Gemma hate about that was not British, because they wouldn't understand that. So good, we got that cleared up. So here's my stance on it. It's not the word choice that bothered me. Like, I couldn't give less of a fuck if she said mental or not like it's not the word choice that's bothering me it's more of like the fact that out of all the posts she picks out a Larry post like out of all of them and she decides to respond to that and to be honest even though the word mental is not offensive it still kind of sounded like a rude post like the way she said it so again guys it's not what she said it's how she said it I just thought it was very unnecessary and extra and no it didn't stop there it went to Twitter so Gemma tweets do you think Think that calling someone out for a ridiculous non-theory is the same as mocking mental health issues? Do you have any idea how weird and exhausting it is when people make everything you say into a theory when it means nothing? Okay, shh, sh Gemma, it's okay. Um, get off Twitter. Maybe go back to your other blogs that you own. Go back to being nice, Gemma. By the way, guys, she deleted all her tweets after this, so maybe she regretted the tweets. Maybe she thought she went overboard, which I agree. <laughs> Don't you guys hate when celebrities get into all this drama and the ranting on Twitter and then they delete all their tweets. It's like, why? If you knew you'd regret them at the end, why did you post them in the first place? It's kind of funny because Gemma in that moment reminded me of Louis and his sisters because the Tomlinsons are well known for ranting on Twitter, getting into drama, getting into people's business, roasting people, dragging people. That's their thing. I would have never thought that Gemma would get involved in that because Harry damn well doesn't. The styles don't do that. So Gemma is nothing like Harry when she did that. She reminded me a lot of Louis back in the day. But at least with Louis, he would never delete his tweets because he had a purpose for saying it. He didn't regret it and that is amazing. But then again, I'm sure Gemma just deleted her tweets because she was embarrassed and she thought she went overboard. So maybe she didn't mean any of it. This person says, it's funny to see Larry's drag Brianna for using mental illness as a comeback when arguing, but now that that Gemma is using it, no one wants to say anything about it. Anyway, it's disgusting that she used Do You Have a Mental Illness as a comeback. I wouldn't expect anything better though. We all know who we're talking about. I'm not gonna get into the whole mental illness thing again because I already explained in the beginning that Gemma didn't mean it like that. But the reason why fans attacked Brianna and not Gemma is because Brianna and Olivia or whoever, they were using mental illness as like an insult. They said it in a derogatory way, if I could remember, in their live stream. Whereas Gemma did didn't use it in that context. And then Gemma goes on to say, do you know I suffer from mental illness? and yet don't use incidental words as an excuse to chastise people. Okay, one, I did not know Gemma had a mental illness and I'm actually curious as to what it is. She doesn't have to promote it on Twitter. I'm not saying she has to say it, but I'm just curious what mental illness she has. But hey, maybe it's none of our business. If you guys really think about it, Gemma really didn't deny Larry on Instagram. She was just saying, are you serious? How could you think 
that this photo is about Larry. That's all she was saying. She basically denied that the photo was about Larry. And I believe that. I don't think the photo was about Larry at all. So she didn't deny Larry as a whole. She just denied that the photo was about Larry. So basically, I see where Gemma's coming from because she probably gets bombarded with Larry stuff every single day. And she's just saying that she's tired of seeing all of it. I think that's fair, right? But guys, it's not what she said. It's how she said it. And that's what I'm against. She took it a little bit too far when she went to Twitter and she kept ranting and ranting about it and then deleted her tweets, thank God. No, I don't think Larry should be commenting Larry all the time on Gemma's posts or any of the boys' sisters' posts. But I think Gemma didn't have to respond and she could have responded nicer. That's my whole take on it. I get where she's coming from, but she kind of did it in the wrong way. She also says, you're welcome to live in my brain for a day and then read comments like yours and see how you want to deal with it. Go ahead. People jump all over what I say to mean what they want it to mean and then what they don't want it to mean. Again, all I'm gonna say is I think she went a little bit too far and I'm glad she deleted her tweets because maybe in her brain she was like, whoa, I went too far, I ranted too much, this was too extra even for me, and this will ruin my reputation, so I'm just gonna delete it. Smart move, Gemma, smart move. But yeah, guys, in the future, please, please, please don't comment Larry stuff on non-related Larry posts because this is why we get the reactions we do, and this is why some people probably hate Larry's because we go too far, I guess. So yeah, keep shipping Larry, but just don't bother the boys' sisters or the boys about it because then we will get a negative response and then we'll feel bad after. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, now onto Harry's album teaser. So basically in my last video, I typed out all my thoughts about this teaser and I even showed the clip of the trailer in my video, but it wasn't the high quality version. It was a girl who was filming her TV, but the high quality version actually got released, but I'm not gonna put it in this video because it could be copyright. But if you guys haven't seen that, I'll try to put a link down below. But if you guys noticed in the teaser, it looks like Harry has a new tattoo and it's the letter R. And a lot of people are thinking that this letter R could be related to his album title. People are thinking Reborn could be the title. And that would be like the perfect name for his album. And then Harry's mom tweets Goosebumps. And to be honest, I don't know if she tweeted this because of Liam being a dad or because of Harry's album trailer. Probably could have been both. And guys, look at all the hashtags from yesterday. Hashtag congrats Liam and Cheryl. Hashtag HS1 is coming. Hashtag pain. Hashtag solo Harry. And there were way more, but technically all the hashtags yesterday were one Direction related. March 25th was a day to be a proud Directioner and to be honest, that day is going down in history. Everything big happened on that day. And also there were some theories that came along with Harry's album teaser. So it says, okay, theory, smokescreen, coming out. He's surrounded by smoke, smokescreen. Smokescreen is like a facade, what the management makes him out to be. Harry is in the room with smoke, but then he steps out of a door to a clear room. He's coming out. You then see his eyes, the fucking window to the soul. He's coming out and leaves his old smoke screen. We finally get to see his true self. Damn. <laughs> This other theory says, he walks slowly, close to limping, and he's dripping wet, like he fought a war that never seemed to end, cough, and he's still on his toes, still alive, and he's walking toward a closed door, and he opens it, and there comes the light. He's like, reborn. The symbolism is that 2345 of the 1D lyrics is about the dark light, closed doors, wanting out, and ready to run, follow the sun. I don't know about you, maybe it's just me. Oh my god, I've just been reborn. <laughs> That's actually a really good point, I didn't notice that. This other theory says, if he hasn't been able to come out, he has probably had the feelings of drowning, like people with angst or depression feels, and now he finally came out of the water. He's free, aka why he's probably also walking towards the light. Fuck. I don't care if you guys think that these theories are reaching, but if you guys go back and watch the trailer, think about these theories while watching it, and you'll see the symbolism and all the similarities. Harry says, who am I to tell you what a song should be? Everybody has a different interpretation of the song. So basically, who is Harry to tell us what the trailer is about? We all have different interpretations of what this trailer is. So antis, don't come at us. But the whole teaser just made me die because Harry's eyes, his hair, his wet shirt, his tattoos, just everything him, like that moment when he looked into the camera and then April 7th came on the screen, I actually died. <laughs> like when I was editing my video, I was so shook. I was like shaking everywhere. It was so hard to edit. <laughs> if his album or single is actually gonna come out on April 7th, we're all gonna die on that day. Guys, I have a test on that day. 
Oh my god, <laughs> I gotta skip. <laughs> but also speaking of Harry, do you guys remember those pics of him back in December 2016 of him in that yellow shirt? He's looking like a school bus or a bumblebee or Charlie Brown, whatever. This was around the same time as Jay's death, by the way. So if you couldn't remember, here are a couple pictures of Harry and he's holding this striped shirt. And then yesterday we got a picture of Louis wearing this striped shirt and it looks identical. So people are thinking that Harry bought this striped shirt for Louis. Now, I don't know about you guys, I can't tell if it's the same exact shirt, it could just be a shirt that looks similar because a lot of striped shirt looks similar. It's kind of hard to tell in the Harry pictures because the shirt is folded up. But guys, this isn't the first time that Harry and Louis have bought clothes for each other. So I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, now on to Louis performing at Ultra. So here are some pics of Louis and Steve performing at Ultra. They performed Just Hold On. And it was so stupid because I missed the live stream, but I'm sure it was great. But oh my God, Louis looks so tiny. And then Louis went to Twitter and he said, that was fucking sick with the nerd glasses emoji. And then he said, thank you for giving me the confidence to do shit like that. Aw. I am just so happy for Louis. I'm glad that he actually feels like he has confidence now. And he really showed it on stage. And I mean, Louis really should be proud because look at this picture. This is something to be proud over. And also we got this tweet saying, BB Rexa allegedly has a song featuring Louis Tomlinson on All Your Fault Part 2, which drops next month. Are you serious? So not only are we getting music from Harry, but we're gonna be getting another single from Louis and BB Rexa. I love them both. BB Rexa has such a unique voice and it's so good. She's even good live and imagine her voice with Louis. Oh my god. I really hope this is real. I hope it's not a rumor. And then after Louis performing on Ultra and Harry's music teaser coming out, Daisy Tomlinson tweets, proud of Louis and Harry. Now guys, I don't want to be too excited over this tweet because I don't even know if this is Daisy's real account. A lot of people are saying it's her real account, but I'm not really sure. But hey, if it is her real account, I'm happy. And now my last topic, Liam and Sharon. Cheryl's baby. So I also typed out my thoughts on my last video. I said that Liam and Cheryl are definitely going to be great parents. But I also said it's funny how Liam and Cheryl typed out huge paragraphs and they actually seem genuinely happy, genuinely proud of their newborn son. And then when it came to Louis and Brianna, it was just totally different. So this says the difference between Louis and Liam and Cheryl and Brianna who seem to be a proud dad. So Louis says, meet my little lad, Freddie. And Brianna says, Freddie Rain, love of my life. And then Liam and Cheryl's were like huge paragraphs. Now I'm not trying to say that the bigger your paragraph is, the more realistic it is or the better quality it is. But I mean, you just had a baby. You'd think you'd be a little bit more proud. The way Liam and Cheryl are about their baby is so much different than the way Louis and Brianna are about their baby. And also this article comes out and says, there's another baby boy in 1D land. Singer Liam Payne and girlfriend Cheryl Cole announced earlier today via Instagram that they had given birth to a baby boy on Wednesday. While the name wasn't announced on social media, a source exclusively revealed baby Payne's unusual name. They're calling him Bruce, the source said in a statement. After Bruce Wayne, yeah? Liam's a massive superhero fan and Cheryl just loves the name so it works for both of them. People has reached out to Liam's bandmates for a statement but have not gotten one back yet. Congratulations to the new parents and little Bruce Payne. Oh my God, Bruce Payne. So I don't think this is confirmed yet. I wanna wait until Liam and Cheryl have given him a name because yesterday they said they don't have a name for him yet. But hey, if it is Bruce, I'm for that. And I wish all the best to Liam and Cheryl on their baby. This will not be like a baby gate 2.0. <sighs> this has been a week. So anyway guys, that's all the news for today. Hopefully this follow-up recap video really helped you guys understand everything. So like always, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description. And I will see you guys later. Bye. You're my honey bun sugar plum, pumpy umby umpkin. You're my sweetie pie.